to the channel. Got an Eagles update for you. So the deal is Doug Peterson is going to decide who the starting quarterback will be for the season opening season opener against the Atlanta Falcons. This coming Friday, he's going to check, practice out. He's going to see how Carson Wentz does. Going to kind of see where he's at one last time. And if he's not where they want him to be, Nick Foles is going to play. Uh, I think it's a smart move. <clears throat> I don't think he's going to let anybody know. Yeah, and the thing, he is going to make the decision on Friday, but he's not going to say anything. Very smart move, in my opinion. You want to keep that edge uh, against your opponent. It's a very good competitive edge to have when you're ha when you're forcing Atlanta to have to game plan to play Carson Wentz. But you also have to have a game plan to play Nick Foles. That's two different quarterbacks. Um, so Atlanta won't, for all we know, Atlanta might not know what they're getting until until uh, right before kickoff. Doug Peterson just say, hey, I'm not going to announce it until like Wednesday. I might not announce it before like 20 minutes before kickoff. Hey, Nick Foles is our starter. We don't know what could happen. Um, either way, no matter what happens, no matter who starts uh, week one, the Eagles are going to be fine. The Eagles are going to win. I think they're going to win convincingly at home. We're going to raise that Super Bowl banner for the first time. The first of many. It's going to be great. It's going to be, really, it's going to be a really good time. Uh, a lot of people have been concerned about the whole Nick Foles thing. Listen, Nick Foles is just chilling. He's just getting in game shape. He's played bad. He's played really bad. He's not going to be able to get away with the ill-advised uh, passes like he's had uh, against New England in the preseason and the Cleveland Browns. Those things aren't going to be able to happen. Be those things aren't going to be able to happen, but I don't think they will happen because you got to think if you're getting Jason Peters back week one. Whole offensive line is going to be intact. You got all these weapons coming back, some of which weren't uh, here last year, like Darren Sproles. Jason Peters was also out. You got Darren Sproles. You got Corey Clement. You got JJ. Running game is solid. Offensive line is solid. Receivers are solid. You got Alshon's going to be out for a couple weeks, but that's fine. Uh, Mac Collins. Mac Collins, I think, can uh, do his thing for a couple weeks. We also have really good fill-in role players at the receiver position. Sign a court. Ugh. Sort of like in a Marcus Johnson type of role. Uh, where, you know, just like a number four receiver coming in and making a little contribute. Catch a couple passes. That man will be Shelton Gibson. You got Dallas Goddard coming in, uh, taking over for the Trey Burton role. He's looked pretty good in camp. He's looked pretty good in preseason. But, yet again, we ain't talking about the game. We talking about practice. Well, you got to remember, so Dallas Goddard, you got to step up, bud. Uh, Zach Ertz coming off his best season as a pro. Uh, I suspect he'll be even better this year. You got Nelson Aguilar had his breakout season last year in the slot. Uh, he's playing with a lot more confidence. Uh, you replace Torrey Smith with a faster deep threat with better hands. His name is Mike Wallace. He used to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that was back in the days when he was a bad man. He might still have a little bit of bad man in him. But my point is, the offense is going to be fine. Nick Foles, if he has to play, he'll win us a couple games. And Carson, he can come back. He can relax. He can come back week three. Come back week three or four and uh, play the rest of the season. Because it's not about, oh, Carson Wentz, he has to rush back and play in the opener. We really want to see him play. We really want this. We don't want him. We don't want there to be a quarterback controversy. There's not a quarterback controversy. Everybody and their brother knows this is – team belongs to Carson Wentz. He is the future of this team, which is why we're not going to risk him getting hurt. But on the other hand, if this dude is ready, he's medically cleared, there's no point in telling him, no, you can't play. We're going to baby you. No, we're not going to do that. But those are my thoughts on the whole thing. I think it's a very smart decision by Doug Peterson, and I support whatever uh, the Eagles do. So guys, if this is your first time, thank you for checking me out. This is going to be my first football season uh, on YouTube, and it's really going to be, I think it's really going to be fun. I'm going to be doing my weekly pick videos. I'm going to be doing my uh, previews for the Eagles game.
gonna be it's gonna be pretty awesome, man. I'm really looking forward to it. I just have my fantasy draft. I'm in a couple of leagues. I got another draft. Uh, next week I got uh, one more draft that I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna be a great football season. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to the Eagles defending their title. So yeah, guys, it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, so with that being said, have a good one. Fly Eagles, fly.